I have before that I have never went to that area of the yeah. city. I was going to ask you what what it, what is it like? I've been there once. Okay. Because it was like a late night and there's some shops that like they sell liquor even till yeah, like 4 yeah, or 5 yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. went there once. Mm. But like we were just so scary we were like yeah, look yeah. straight don't yeah, look yeah, anywhere yeah. else. What what is it like there? <sighs> what does it look like? Imagine you are in a supermarket. Okay. Okay. And you enter an aisle on the left hand side you see products on the right hand side you see products you can go pick up any product go to the counter pay for it and fuck off yeah is the same thing you enter a lane on the left hand side there are women on the right hand side there are women and there are pimps around these women mm. now uh, it's a very harsh example but this is the truth of the area yeah it's almost sad man it's it yeah. is sad it is sad that uh, women are treated like as commodities yeah and uh, if you know me anybody who's been enough time with me around with me knows that i am very very touch it when it uh, touchy when it comes to anything women mm. i have been raised up by women man uh, well, if anyone anywhere misbehaves with a woman in my surroundings yeah i take it as a personal attack yeah and just seeing that happening to women there and having no control over it what what the fuck am i going to do there but are like these women mm. are like are they trafficked or they're trafficked. They're trafficked like none of them is there by choice none of them not by their choice all of them are trafficked either from a rural village in bangalore uh, sorry in bengal or some place in karnataka they are all from rural villages and most of them if not all of them they don't even have an aadhar card they mm-hmm. don't even have a basic basic uh, uh, essential like a government identity on them so tomorrow yeah. if they want to really escape they're ghosts basically they're, they're, they are they are in a, so th- this is what un calls the state of statelessness mm. where no sovereign nation is ready to classify you as a citizen yeah so where the fuck are they to go they don't have education they don't have money they don't have skill set in most cases they are physically broken in so many ways mentally traumatized where the fuck are they going to go where the fuck are they going to go and uh, so they're just picked up from these yeah they're like most of them so the one sex worker that i uh, got the chance to interview it's it's on aesthetics she was promised to be given a better job better salary she was working somewhere in bengal somebody uh, gets her here forces her into prostitution and leaves yeah. now just imagine you're in a foreign place you don't know the language you don't know the geography and somebody has physically forced you into sex who am you going to go to and you're not allowed to leave the building you're not allowed to leave the building just imagine that's a breach on so many fronts yeah but what the fuck are you going to do about it and over time you accept it to be your reality but now where does the law come in like is, is it completely corrupt and like i'm sure the funny authorities thing, are aware of this it's not a funny secret. thing the wall where i've done my artwork two buildings not even 12 steps from that wall there's a police station it is not that they're not aware of it there's nothing they can do about it it's such a there is no right, there is no black and white answer to this amen mm-hmm. it is such a complex a complex web of bureaucracy corruption culture the budhwar pet is budhwar pet from the past 100 years yeah. nobody really, really knows how it started it was a rice mill that entire area was a rice mill at one point i have spoken to a lot of locals in process of documenting mm. aesthetics i spoke to a lot of locals pimps residents shop owners visitors nobody really knows the origins of it it's so obscure yeah and nobody honestly cares nobody cares somebody and this is how it is on the road huh you look at the women they are like 300 300 300 400 400 acha 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 200 200 200 that is how that that is how 